Hello, this is Leo at Lee Time. Elderberry has been used as a medicinal herb for a long time in the history. It has been used to treat cold, flu, and constipation. In today's video, I want to show you a full spectrum extraction by using hydro distillation. Hydro distillation, also called water distillation, you mix the herb with water and do the distillation together. It's easy to set up compared with the steam distillation, but its efficiency is a little bit lower. So today I'm using Litai MIT 3000 distiller to do the hydro distillation. I use a two liter filtered water mixes 100 gram dried elderberry. Elderberry is purchased online with organic grain because I'm not only use the distillate but also the water extract. Elderberry has been used as a home remedy to treat cold, flu, and constipation. It is a time-proofed medicine and also the modern research has found out the reason for the medical benefits of elderberry. Elderberry extract can help boost the immune system by improving the inflammatory cytokine. Simply speaking, it helps boost the shield in our body to protect us from attack of the virus or bacteria. The medicinal benefits of the elderberry mainly come from its container antioxidant, and these antioxidants are especially the polyphenols. Within the group of polyphenols, there are two categories. The first category is volatile compounds and the second category is non-volatile compound. Just as its name says, the volatile compound can be easily vaporized. So when we do the distillation, the volatile compounds, they will vaporize, come out with the water, go into the distillate and after condensation, it will change into the hydrosol. Within the hydrosol, there are two major polyphenols, linoacetate, hexdecanonic acid, Linoacetate is also a major compound within the lavender hydrosol. It has a good anti-inflammatory behavior. And hexadecanoic acid is good antimicrobial agent. So this makes the hydrosol has a good anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial behavior. Plus the elderberry special aroma. On the other hand, within the non-volatile compounds, which will stay within the water that's left in the pot during the boiling, and this major compound is anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is a type of a flavonoid. It contains normally within the dark color vegetables and fruit, like a blueberry. Anthocyanin has a wide range of health benefits, including anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, a prevention of a Parkinson disease, and Alzheimer's disease, prevention of a cardiovascular disease, and also anti-diabetic. This makes the powerful use of uh, elderberry extract. In terms of extraction, solvent extraction is the most popular way, and a different solvent has been tested and measure its efficiency to extract the anthocyanin out of the elderberry. The solvents include water, methanol, acetone, and other mixture of uh, organic solvents. With the liquid chromatography and the mass spectrum quantifies the amount of uh, anthocyanin extracted by different solvents. It proves the water has the, the second best extraction efficiency, which is much better than methanol, acetone, and all other mixture of organic solvents. It's just 10% less than the 70% alcohol extraction. But the benefits of a water extraction is it can be used in widely age group for the kids or adults don't like alcohol. So it's more practical at home than all other methods. Also it's very efficient. So that makes us to take the benefit by using the water extract after the distillation. Besides the polyphenol, it contains 7 to 11 percent of sugar, protein, fatty acid, vitamins, minerals. So those will also left within the water extract. This adds a flavor, also give a more nutrient into the water extract. Hopefully you learned something today. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about how to use herbs and how to extract by distillation. See you next time.